Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Firewatch. Now, if it's saved properly, we're going to have skipped ahead a tiny amount because I just started recording and then my mouse decided to just stay on the screen. So, to fill you in quickly, um, we woke up and uh, Delilah, Delilah I think, yeah, Delilah said she saw fireworks, we saw them to the west and she's told us to go and basically tell them off um, and on the way we need to find a cash box with a rope so I'm looking for a cash box that looks like a cash box doesn't it and she said the codes for all of them are one two three four I found the supply box great so one two three four Copy information. That sounds like we should do that. What's this? Seven seven eighty six. Ron, hey man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of these guy, one of those. Found one of those bars you liked hiking into the park. But let's get effed when I'm back, Dave. Okay. Uh, let's put that there. Right, old route. There's some snack or something there. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take it. Let's see what happens. Um, west. I'm still going west. I. Wrong button again. Um. Wrong button again. Oh god. Keep pressing a left shift to run, and that's to do the uh, walkie-talkie radio thing. I mean, I can hear the fireworks, so I assume I'm relatively close by. I literally have no idea in this game if uh, there's, there's like anything dangerous or any animals that try to attack you. I, I've not researched it whatsoever. I thought it'd be fun to play it knowing nothing. Let's head down. That's not good. Hopefully he's not broken his legs. Oh, he seems okay. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Well, they left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like, uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties? <laughs> there 
For what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? <laughs> yeah. This is weird. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. What are they doing? They got like... Okay. Flares or sparklers or something. Hey! Hey, you fucking kids! Hey, you fucking fatso! Leave us alone! <laughs> <laughs> Leave us alone! You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea, what? <laughs> he's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? I left all your stuff back there. What? You were messing with our packs? What? Gross. No, I was... I didn't... What the hell were you looking for? Panties? No, no. Ew. <laughs> Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Okay. Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Right. I assume we go east. Didn't all ropes? No. Oh. Guessing this is a different route, isn't it? Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right, because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Hmm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Ugh. What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? Oh my god, lady. The, the arc of our budding friendship. How exactly are you in charge? Aw, Henry, that's a good one. Be satisfied? Yes. Am I supposed to open this? Oh, there we go. What have we got? Map updated. Right. I guess that's the right thing to do then. Um, flashlight. Ah. No horn. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon. 
Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Ah, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. <laughs> the whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I hope I'm going the right way. isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... Um, so it's, uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. <laughs> okay. Hmm, typewriter. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. Oh, yeah. It's inside, right? doesn't it? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. That's a radio call. Mm. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and... Now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I Sounds need like you to feel plan. safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. 
Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Day two. Wake up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Right, so, back to the cave from yesterday. Um, that was behind the toilet thing, wasn't it? Over there, somewhere. Is that smoke? Oh, generators now, obviously. Right. Uh, was this the bit that broke? So, can you climb down here? Cool. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, hey. sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Okay. Are we still heading north? Yes, we are.
This won't be enough, will it? No. They look like some sort of telephone wires. What was that option I just saw? I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Uh, let's see. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Hmm. These look okay. Oh, you see over here. Not sure how thorough I'm supposed to be. Doesn't look good. Can I radio that? Where the option go? There's like smoke or something over there. I can't tell if that's I assume. Where's my I don't have an option to report that. Do I need to be closer? Doesn't look right, is it? Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Could find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. But first, let's check this. I assume that's adding stuff to my map, like showing new areas I go to, I guess. Another note. How do I read it again? Right click. 7.30.86. Oh, American. Oh, isn't it? Dave. Heyo. I got your note about needing to talk. And sorry, I don't. I didn't track you down. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping the, those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos. Professionals. If you need someone to th throw back a case with and go time travelling. Ron's your guy, but I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later on, Ron, maybe. Uh, or maybe I should be keeping those notes. Pine cone. That sort of stuff. How am I supposed to inspect this damage then? Should I have gone around the other side? Or can I climb? Here, maybe? Nope. Hmm. Can I 
Do I need to go like that way up? Like I've gone the wrong way. Let's back trace. See if we can come from this other angle, I guess. What's that? Is that just a rock or Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to pick these things up or anything. So the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. How would you cut the wire? I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is... illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm... I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, well, they're big into Red Eagle. Back towards the tower. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Can I not go? Oops. I'm going to keep doing that shift button. Hundreds of times. Why can't I? What's happening? Lock trail. But I can't clear it. Hmm. Okay. Ah. What to do then? Where are we supposed to go? Nothing up there. Why can't I get down there? Come on, that's easy. Can I go? I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do. Climb anywhere here? Are you supposed to be able to? Surely you can. Feels like. Am I doing something stupid? Block trail. I can't click. Hmm. 
There's nothing that way. I can't seem to get through that, even though it looks easy. Uh, let's climb back up again. Let's see what was there. I mean, this was sort of the edge of a cliff, wasn't it? Not a cliff, but whatever it's called. Am I supposed to, maybe I'm supposed to have done that. Inspect the wire. So we're supposed to be trying to find these girls, I guess. Is it the same girls from yesterday? I guess so. But then it said to go and look where you found the last, which might be in the opposite direction. What's it? Where's my compass gone? I went there west last time. That way. I'm gonna go this way. This. Oh. See what we've got. Okay. That's useful. Oh god, that's annoying me how I can't just sort of run through things that look like you should be able to go through them. And we seem to be stuck on a tree stump. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there we go. Right. Not down there then. So, go back. And take this path back to our lookout. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. Wow. Okay, then. We carry on. Did I take a wrong turning then, if that wasn't the uh, lookout? Yeah, 
Yeah, it must have been further back, wasn't it, the turning? This is really a weird game. I've not played anything like it before. It wasn't... Oh, it's Thorough Fair. Ah, right, that's Delilah's, isn't it? We are at Two Lakes, or whatever it was called. Okay. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. What have we got? Camera? Rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. See to use this special camera. Okay. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. <laughs> well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Interesting. I mean, I don't know if I'm... All these photos are... Yeah, are they are you supposed to do something with them? Or is it just up to you? I guess it's just random. Who knows? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A... chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's... 
biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. What was that? Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. Oh, you're talking about that um, giant fire that probably caused some damage. Turned a, an entire jamboree of brownies to dust. Brownies don't have jamborees. Well, they should. And you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? I do not. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Nope. Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. I was only half listening then. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. What was that? Look at it. Oh god. I'm gonna get myself lost. Where are we supposed to go here? I'm supposed to be in the lake. Guess I'm not. Uh, this, what, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to follow the smoke? Still. <laughs> I feel like whatever I'm doing now is not right. Oh no. What's that? That's a radio call. Where are we then? We're there. So do I need to go? Is this a path? This must be a path here. Ah, this is... 
this looks better. Which this is where I came from. Ah, this must be right. Beer can. Can we go? Change of music now. So, how'd you meet? I met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Is that smoke up there? I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be opening these, but... Feels like... Oh, wrong code. Feels like... Probably. Probably. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Okay. That way or that way? And close. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Is it this way or the other way? It could see the way. This is turning out to be quite a long video. Probably because I'm taking so long. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. 
Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Didn't I just... I just came from there, didn't I? Is there a path going th through here? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go back. If this is back. Yeah, that's the waterfall, isn't it? Hmm. So I guess I'm still looking for... What is that? Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. I hope I'm going the right way here. And I wasn't supposed to keep looking in the other place. about it. Right now, I'm trying to hunt down some vandals, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. <sighs> Which way do we go? 
Did we come from this way? Okay, not that way. Guess we go this way. Is this a path? I hope I don't find a bunch of dead bodies or something. Pears, pears, pears! Yes! What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. Scared away the raccoon. That's a bit buggy. Isn't this where we came from ages ago? I really hope we're not walking in the wrong direction for all this time. Kind of feel like I am. I'm just going back to the tower, aren't I? I can't be right. I feel like I'm too committed now. Something's gonna happen on the radio. Or I'm gonna see these girls, I guess. Well, that'll be really, really annoying. I've got to go all the way back. more and more. It's a blood. This even the cave I was in last time. Feels different. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. Don't 
Don't call me Hank. Like, would it let me be doing these radio oh God, uh, conversations if it was if I was going the wrong way? I don't know. feel good. This doesn't feel like I've been going the right way, does it? this episode because I might have to be going back all the way to where we came from in which case I might do that away from the video potentially or not we'll see what happens but yeah thanks for watching uh, hopefully it wasn't too boring and uh, see you in the next one